Hello MGOers, this video is about how to make MTO 2 30 FPS into the 60 FPS or should I say from 5 FPS to 60 FPS anyway so what you're gonna do is you put the file, video file into the Sony Vegas Pro no matter what I, I use 14 Vegas Pro and then you just need to have the Vixtor Pro plugin, aka video effects, to make it work. So you open the file on the Vegas, then make sure you disable resemble. Click OK. Then if you don't have Vixtor Pro, you need to download it from internet separately, and then use these settings. And make sure that you put it in the video and not over here, in the video file clip, not over here. I don't know how it's not working correctly if you put it here, or at least I don't know how to make it work correctly. Anyway, look at my settings when you put it over here. Make sure it's fixed output, display layer all, and speed. And this is the most important, speed must be 50% because it's normal speed when you put it over here two times faster, so it's basically the normal speed, but it's render, it renders it as more smooth 60 FPS. Uh, frame can be zero, I don't know if it helps if it's 60, but I use it as zero. Track quality best, and PG modding sensitive is 94 for me and smart blend click ok far pin inverse frame in their blend i know what this catch up flow does but anyway so these are the settings you need to put remember speed percent 50 right then you go to the video where you go to properties and remember you have this applet resemble and playback rate make sure it's so now the video is because it was 50% slower and this playback rate is 2 times faster than its normal timing. So now it should be correct. Also make sure that you are using 60 FPS when you render and the video. So right here you have the settings. Make sure it's 60. You can do this if you want, but make sure it is really 60. And okay, that's it. I'll show you the clip and uh, after what happens when it's rendered in 60 FPS. Much better quality, maybe a little bit some farbing or how to say it, but it's still better in smoother frames per second. Also, customize template. Use frame rate as 60 and actually don't allow source that just frame rate, just let it be frame rate 60 FPS. And HD 1080 and um, then maximum PBS 50, average PBS 40. Uh, at least as I took these settings from the YouTube tutorial. Anyway, use these settings if you want like my videos and system project video rendering quality best. And remember, you need a decent PC for this setup. So, um, this can take very long time if you render it in 60 real 60 FPS because. It takes a lot of time to render, so make sure there's no other video plugins, aka video effects, like color settings or any way stuff. So you got to re render them separately. Anyway, now it's gonna take a long time, even this one clip. Fit. So now I show you the difference. What what happens?